Well, hello, my friends. Pastor Kevin here bringing you today's daily devotion. We are still doing Matthew devotions. We will be for some time. Uh, and today we're going to talk about a second aspect of uh, Matthew chapter 2. And it's really just a small chunk of text. I'm going to read the text to you and we'll talk a little bit about it. All right, this is in chapter 2, starting with verse 13. And it says, Now, when they had departed, meaning um, Mary and Joseph, um, actually, sorry, when they had departed is referring to the Magi, Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And he rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fill, fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. Okay, so we have this small prophetic statement uh, and it's really about Egypt. And I, this is one of those things where I kind of want to tell you, go, go do a little homework here. There's a, a couple of times, uh, there's quite a few times actually, in scripture where this idea of either go, like leaving to go to Egypt, that type of thing happens. So first you could go to uh, Genesis 12 in the very beginning of the story of Abraham, right after it introduces Abraham and it kind of works out stuff with Lot, it'll talk about how they, because of famine, they went to Egypt and then they came back. If you go to uh, the book of Exodus in chapter two and three, I believe, you'll see the story of, of Moses who actually leaves Egypt because of uh, a thing he did and goes to Midian uh, for safety and then eventually is called back into Egypt. So you see these motions, and you may recall from the sermon that was given recently, this is actually, a, if you look at, use the Moses as an example, it's a flip-flop. Whereas Joseph is taking Mary and baby Jesus to, uh, or young Jesus to Egypt, uh, it's the reverse of what Moses did, okay? But I think the most important thing to hit here is really what it's talking about in the, the prophetic word, out of Egypt I called my son. And that comes from uh, uh, the book of Hosea. And I'm going to read this to you. I want you to listen to it because I think this maybe is where our application can kind of come from. Uh, this is in Hosea 11. It says, when Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt, I called my son. That's referring to the, the, the Exodus, right? The the uh, Israelites are in Egypt. They are slaves. Um, they are under the thumb of Pharaoh. They are not being treated well. They cry out. God hears and responds by bringing up Moses. Again, Moses in this, in this picture. So don't lose track of the fact. This is just for the ongoing in Matthew that Jesus is being likened to Moses in certain ways, which is really powerful because you have to think about the role that Moses played for the Israelites. Okay. The Hosea continues like this. It says, The more they were called, the more they went away. They kept sacrificing to the Baals and burning offerings to idols. So you see Matthew is using this verse to show how um, he, it's connecting Jesus to Israel, but not in the same context because Jesus isn't the one who sacrificed in the Baals. He's not the one who, who, after being called, it says that the more they were called, the more they went away. It's, it's showing that, that Jesus becomes this perfect representative for Israel. He is the true Israelite, just as he is the true human. And the reason why I say that this is probably one of the best applications to pull from this is to remember, you know, are you... Are you more like Jesus or are you more like the Israelites? <laughs> I don't know about you, but oftentimes I feel like um, I, I am coming out of being like the Israelites by God's grace and by his spirit. And I think it's important to recognize that's how much grace, that's how much love, that's how much hope, that's how much forgiveness and mercy you have received uh, at the hands of this one, the true Israelite. He has given us the grace, knowing that though we were the ones who would continually sacrifice to the Baals, though we were the ones who would continuously go the opposite direction, as we were called, we would run further away, our God would chase us down. He would chase you and me down uh, for the purposes of his glory, 
uh, to, to reveal his kingdom, to glorify him, to worship him, to basically use all that he's put in us, including his very spirit, to reveal to the world what being a true human is all about. And it's not about running the other, other way. It's not about worshiping the wrong gods. It's about the one true God. It's about the one who would give himself for us utterly. He would come and experience life like we would. Out of Egypt, I called my son. And the, the crazy thing is, is that as we've stepped into and under the, the salvation and protection and defense and love and honor of Jesus, once we step in under that, we too are called out of our former lives. We too are called out of our formal, and whatever you want to put in, you can, there's a dotted line there. You can fill it in. We are called out of our addictions. We are called out of our anger. We are called out of all of those things that were, were, that we used either to self-worship or to worship things that we shouldn't, if that makes any sense. And I think each of you can figure out what those things are, what you put in that dotted line. We've been called out because the perfect son, the perfect Israelite, was called out of Egypt. He was out of this place that was foreign and really wasn't his home. We were being called out of the place that is not our home to reveal these images of what home really is by acting like our king. So I, I pray that you would take that with you today. I'm gonna to try to take that with me today as well. Um, I wanna act more like our king. I wanna act like one who's been called out of the foreign place who's been called out of the former activities, who's been called out of the former addictions, the former challenges, the former um, jealousies, all of those things that we can leave behind, knowing that they were true, they were, that's how we were, but we are being transformed day by day into the image of the Son, okay? Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your power that you are, you continually pour out to change us, to transform us, help us to be eager recipients of that transformation. Help us to be um, uh, not just eager recipients, but participants in it, that we are willing to change, willing to see how we were and how, whom you want us to be. Help us most of all to look to your son and his example and his, the wonder and awe of what he has done on our behalf, that you would give us such a wonderful gift, that we would live it out, we would honor you, we'd honor your name, we'd glorify you in everything that we do. We thank you this day and every day in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, that's all for today.